We're going to be taking away fractions with different denominators today and it's also going to include a mixed number. So we're going to have three steps to solve this problem today. So the first thing we need to do is to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. And an improper fraction is when there is a large number on the top of the fraction and it's bigger than the denominator. So to go from a whole one and one fifth, I've got one whole one made up of five fifths and an extra fifth. So altogether, I have six fifths. And I'm going to still need to take away the quarter. Now we're back to solving, adding and taking away fractions with different denominators. So I need to find the lowest common denominator or the lowest common multiple. And to do this, we normally times our denominators together. So I know both of my new fractions are going to be twentieths. And I know that because five has to times by the other denominator which is four, and the four has to times by the other denominator, which is five. So I'm going to end up with so many twentieths, take away another load of twentieths, and we know that that step is going to be easy. So remember with fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So to get from 5 to 20, I multiplied it by 4. So to get from 6 to my answer, I'm going to have to multiply it by 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Now we're on to the second fraction. To get from 4 to 20, I had to multiply by 5. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So to go from one to my answer, I need to multiply by five. One times five is five. Now we need to carry on with the calculation. 24 twentieths take away five twentieths. And remember the denominator is going to stay the same. Now I just need to take away my numerators. So 24, take away five is 19. So my answer to the original question of one and a fifth, take away a quarter, is 19 twentieths.